Disney is bringing diversity to the symphony. Next month, the new season begins, and the conductor is excited about bringing his own unique perspective to the classic style of music. I'm so jealous of this interview. He sits down with our Jorge Torres. So even growing up, I kind of knew that my life in classical music, if I were to pursue this, would probably take me to certain places. But as a conductor now that I'm living it, I certainly didn't expect it to be as fast and as frequent as it is now. The music brought Queens, New York native Tito Munoz to the Valley, where he's been directing the Phoenix Symphony for nine years. It's been quite the journey for the 39-year-old who didn't see conducting as a profession until high school. And I'm a violinist. That's what I learned in school in New York. Uh, that's where I grew up. And it was a lot of um, leadership roles that I think I was seeking out, and conducting is kind of like the best uh, leadership role in, in music. Conducting has taken Munoz all over the world, leading symphonies and orchestras in France, the United Kingdom, and throughout Latin America. As a first-generation American of Ecuadorian descent, Munoz says bringing a diverse perspective makes the sound of music even better. Not just that we need to do it, it's actually better for everybody because we actually are able to enrich sort of the experience for people who may not have that perspective, that same perspective that somebody like me would have. The season kicks off October 14th at Symphony Hall. For the full Phoenix Symphony schedule, visit our website, abc15.com. There's a lot going on, so we're kind of excited for all of it. Reporting from Symphony Hall, I'm Jorge Torres with ABC 15 Arizona. Jorge, thank you. Every week we have new stories for you and celebrations you can attend. Visit abc15.com forward slash Hispanic heritage. For